the Salton Sea, California's largest inland lake, is facing a dramatic and ongoing decline. Once sustained by agricultural runoff from the Imperial Valley, which diverted water from the Colorado River, the lake is now actively drying up as farmers use less Colorado River water due to conservation efforts. This reduced inflow, combined with extreme drought and hotter, drier weather, has made low water levels a persistent and growing concern for the region. Over the past 25 years, the Salton Sea has lost about a third of its water, shrinking its surface area and exposing large sections of the lake bed. In the last decade alone, the lake has contracted by 38 square miles. This retreat is not just an environmental issue, it's a public health crisis. Winds stir up toxic dust from the exposed lake bed, increasing air pollution and contributing to respiratory problems for communities living nearby, including higher rates of asthma and other health complications. In response to this growing crisis, federal and state agencies have launched restoration and mitigation projects. The U.S. government, for instance, announced a $250 million investment over four years aimed at suppressing dust, restoring habitats, and creating wetlands to help offset the ecological damage. While these efforts are critical, experts warn that the Salton Sea's future remains uncertain. Ongoing drought, climate change, and complex water management issues continue to threaten both the lake's ecosystem and the health of surrounding communities. The story of the Salton Sea is a stark reminder of the challenges California faces in balancing water resources, environmental health, and community safety. Its shrinking waters serve as a warning. Without urgent action and long-term solutions, the lake, and the communities that rely on it, may face an increasingly fragile future.